Okay. While we're in the finals, we get the choice we'll play first. Yeah, this is a great looking hand. I like Smoke Teller doing stuff for us. It's very nice. Okay. Well, green, blue, most prevalent color, so we'll start her off with that. No idea what we're up against. Maybe that sick teamer deck we passed, huh? Ooh, Incremental's got uh, a real, real shot at being played this, this game for full value. Opponent plays his own smoke teller. Well, I don't want to go parapet first, so I guess we swing. I kind of don't want to trade either, to be honest. But putting counters on a parapet's not great anyway. I think I'm I'm actually going to not. I'm going to play a hollow, play a parapet, and pass. I'm going to play the defensive game and actually try and get full value out of our incremental growth. I think that's the best, uh, the best game plan. All right. At least I can ID what the morph is plus ping my opponent, so that's not bad. Um... I want to do both things this turn, so I'm actually going to just chill. All right. I think we're just going to ID some morphs this turn. This is a pretty important information gathering turn. So, morph number one, Snowhorn Rider. Jeez. Morph number two, Sagu Mauler. Ugh. That card is a nightmare. All right. Well, got to bounce the Mauler because... I cannot do anything about that. So we'll bounce the mauler. I mean, actually, I guess the good news is my parapet's going to be able to block it. So I guess next turn I am going to do the incremental growth play. That's actually kind of nice. Because now we're going to crack back for copious amounts of damage. I do have to pump the parapet twice, which means the smoke teller only gets one pump. But that's still just fine. So one, two here, three here. Definitely want our flyer to be a 5-5. Five five. And we want to motivate him to bounce the Avon Surveyor. That would be the best for us. Having 1,000 wins is pretty nice, too. And having a blocker for both Snowhorn Rider and Sagu Mauler is also nice. I'm guessing that's a Sagu Muller. I'm definitely blocking the Rider, too. If he's got Awaken the Bear, it's going to be devastating with Sagu Muller, too. All right, so we're at seven mana for the Thousand Winds, which is pretty awesome. So we're just going to... I was going to say get in with the Surveyor, but it looks like he's going to Crippling Chill. That's okay. And 
No attacks. We're going to do double morph this turn. Don't have mana up for Parapet. And I didn't identify if that is in fact a Saugumaler, but I have to assume it is. So I think we're just going to take a beating from the Rider and block the Morph. He's at 7 mana as well, which means Unmorph plus Savage Punch is pretty harsh. Or just Savage Punch now is also pretty harsh. It is the Sagu Mauler. I guess if that's his best play, I'm not too concerned, but he tapped an extra mana, which is interesting. I wonder if he thought it was six mana to unmorph, or... Or what? That's interesting. Well, we're going to... Although I guess I could double block the Snowhorn Rider here. It's pretty good, actually. Take six. I think I'm going to do that. Change my mind. We get to trade a Smoke Teller for a Snowhorn Rider? Seems like a fair exchange. Yeah. I like that. Oh my god. Ojitai, currently unplayable. <laughs> it's not the best. Let's uh, get in with... Problem with doing both is if he calls my bluff on the thousand wins, I bounce a bunch of my own guys, which I really do not want to do right now. Alright, so we'll, we'll dish some damage out. And we get to Parapet too. And next turn, we're just going to have lethal with the thousand wins. All right. So he's got haste. That's not bad. All right. Well, I think we got the win here. Kind of don't want him to know about Thousand Wins, but I have enough concerns where I think I'm just going to show him. I guess I don't. He's going to figure it out anyway. What am I talking about? He gets that knowledge at the end of the game regardless. So let's just go for the win. All right. Arrow Storm was his manifested card. And we're playing against Teamer. This guy should have a pretty stacked deck. Like I said, during the drafting process, we passed some Teamer. Basically just to make Ojitai work. Uh, have a chance at being in the deck. Uh, I hedged towards Sultai because I found the mana better, but if I wanted to play the cards better, it looks like Teamer would have been the better route to go. Opponents got some, I mean, all I saw was Sagu Mahler and Teamer Ascendancy for the, in the rare department. Sagu Mahler was only manageable this game because of how good incremental growth of Parapet worked out. I think we're, we, once again, maybe I just start main decking Disdainful Stroke. I think it's going to come down to that. Maybe I bring in the secret again, too. That God, that paid off so hard.
paid off so hard. <laughs> so hard. <sighs> that last game. My god. Um, but this time I don't want to take out incremental growth, I don't think. Even on the draw... Well, on the draw, it's certainly more awkward. But I kind of don't want to take it out. Um, let's take out Seek the Horizon, though, again. I, I almost want to bring in Secret. He does seem a bit slower, but he might not be. Let's just do the stroke for now. I feel like that's probably enough against him. I don't know what I'd cut for the secret, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know what I would cut for it. Maybe a creature, but I want as many as I can get for this incremental growth. Let's try this again. Um, well, not a great hand, but because it's got all the mana, we got a loads patch in and a banner. I guess I'll keep it. If we find our white mana, it looks good. But yeah, opening with Ojitai is not ideal. We could we could draw hot and this hand could pan out, or could draw poor and get squashed. No two drop from our opponent. That's good news. And we drew a two drop, but not exactly the one I'm looking for right now. Although Savage Punch with Lotus Patch in is is perfectly acceptable. I would like a morph. Oh, Shu Yun. That's not good. Well, Lotus Patch in still has the chance to eat that fellow. I kinda wanna play banner this turn, so I think we gotta go land banner. Wish I could go Lotus Patch in, Savage Punch next turn, but that's not going to happen. Find a white mana. I feel pretty confident against these colors with the Ojitai. I feel like it can do a lot of work. Summit Prowler. Jeez. That's going to be a problem. Ugh. Definitely not what I wanted to see that turn. All right. Let's get Lotus Patch in out. Pass. Still can't block potential for 11 damage next turn if he gets this. I guess 12 damage next turn with prowess. It's pretty nasty, but can't do much about it. Could crack the banner plus Savage Punch next turn as well. So I'd probably crack banner first and then Savage Punch. I almost prefer to Savage Punch the Summit Prowler. Oh, man. Yep, so it looks like we're going to take 12 this turn, which is certainly bad. No doubt about that. But I can't do anything about it. I have to take it. All right. Well, taking 12, sadly. Really didn't want it to go down like that, but like I said, can't do anything. So 
Taking it. Just a ridiculous amount of damage. Just ridiculous. Water World's a good draw, at least. Maybe he gets... Well, I guess I just Water World pass. Or pass, attack pass. I mean, I'm in rebuild phase at the moment. And I'm not doing it on his turn because I want the prowess for the attack since I'm behind. And I don't think it really changes too much. It might change some things, I guess, but we're still likely... He's, he can't do both, at least. Even if he, even with land drop, he can't do both. So maybe he just plays the Summit Prowler first, which makes better use of the mana, I guess. I kind of want to crack Banner on my turn and dig for something. Ooh, well, Morph's actually okay, too. Morph is something I can eat with a Savage Punch, so I definitely like that. Surveyor, that's actually nice, too. Um... Yeah, that's actually really nice. Let's, uh... I'm not going to play Surveyor this turn. We're going to eat that morph. Guess he could have bounce, but... He can maybe hard cast that morph next turn. Let's, uh... Let's crack Banner. Charm is a great draw. Let's punch the morph. Or attempt to, I should say. Could have force away, but I'm going to allow it. Alright, luckily it did not. So that was a pretty important threat to take care of right now. Like I said, that's much better than the Surveyor play, because... And I can't Soul Tide Charm it. Yeah, everything about Snowhorn Rider is something, certainly stuff I don't want to deal with right now. I mean, now he's a mana away from playing both, but I guess I've got the Surveyor, so. And I can Soul Tide Charm the the other guy if he's a problem. Like I feel like here I just surveyor bounce the Shu Yun. Guess he still can't play both if the only land he's got is a tapped one, so that's good. Kind of want him to play the Summit Prowler here instead. Certainly can't do much about a Sagu Mauler if that's what I've got to contend with. Windstorm, oh, man, that's brutal. Such a good sideboard against me, too. How many flyers I got? Yeah, I got a lot. And I got Ojitai, too. That's that's a tough one. Well, hey, Abomination. Uh, what have I got? Eight? All right, that's enough for me. Windstorm is a hell of a sideboard against us. Guess, may well, I was going to say, maybe I should have pocketed that land 
because it gives me a mill or a loot rather, but it's okay. No plays. That's interesting. Ojitai mana. Beautiful. I think I just play Ojitai and pass. He left mana up, even though I know he's got a card there. Might actually just want to kill Shu Yun too. Casey forces me to block. God, tough. Very tough. I really want to play Ojitai this turn. I feel like he left man up, which means he's got removal for Abomination, whether it be Bounce or something, which means he can threaten Lethal with that, which means I kind of want a Sultai Charm, which I guess means I should just swing with Abomination and pass. reason to loot is land I want to get in the yard and Sipsic Muck Dragger getting closer to the top. I guess I could have looted that away technically, but he didn't cast anything too. God, that's just so strange to me. All right. Ooh, there's our other rare. I think we just play Ojitai and pass. He had Disdainful Stroke too. Bomber. Well, I guess at the very least, it's a good thing we drew our other bomb. He's got something for Abomination too? Jeez. That's nasty. All right. Well, we're going to go to three, I guess. And, and our opponent's got Aerostorm in his deck. Man, that is a bummer. All right, well, I can actually, I can still technically beat that. Not well, mind you, but we're uh, basically, yeah. I mean, at least he's out of cards in hand, I guess. All right, well, gaining life doesn't do all that much here, but uh, don't have too much else to do, so. Five, six, well, I, I guess if I gain another life, I at least... Uh, I'm out of arrow. Well, I'm not even out of arrow storm range then, am I? Oh man, and it's thousand wins. No, no, no. Why did it have to be thousand wins? Well, I guess if he just swings Loxodon, I block with I block with the War Shaman. Oh, he's swinging both? Oh, he drew something. Oh, okay. Well, we're 100% dead. All right. Super dead after that. Close game. Wish we could have gotten it, but it's a tough one. Uh, 
Maybe we, maybe we do secret. I changed my mind. Opponent's got disdainful stroke too, man. But I want a disdainful stroke. There's the difference. He's got windstorm too. Yeah, I guess I need the secret. Um, maybe I ditch like a formless nurturing because it's like nothing special. It's clunky. I don't like cutting creatures though, but. Maybe I cut the archer, because it's, like, pretty underwhelming. Although, blocks, uh, I guess it blocks Shu Yun, sort of. It's expensive. So does Formless Nurturing. I, I don't know which one I'd rather have. I guess Sagu Archer has better synergies. With, well, they both do, but only if this nurtures a creature. I kind of want to keep all my two drops. They both work reasonably well with Savage Punch. Hmm. I think I'm going to cut the Nurturing. Uh, yeah. It's actually a fine hand. Planes is a bit awkward, but it's an okay hand. If we draw any of our main resources, we can cast uh, Soul Tie Charm, which is certainly good removal. Alright, well. Parapet. Reasonable draw. Looks like we're already in need of some lands. Oh. Ask and ye shall receive. Let's get our morph out there and pass. At least we're at Soul Tie Charm mana now, which is comforting. Guess you get Winter Flame and kill our morph, but it's not the end of the world. Looks like he plays his own morph. All right. All right. Well, working our way up to unmorphing a witness, so. Let's pass. Then Savage Punch gets a lot better, too. So I do want to flip witness at the first opportunity. Building towards that water world mana, I guess that's good. So now we can flip our witness, which is also good. Problem with Soul Tie Charm is I can't really. I can't. If this is a Snowhorn Rider, I can't comfortably block it and then remove it. So, I can't even comfortably block it. I mean, it could easily be a Sagu Mauler, too. But I can't do anything about that. Sagu Mauler is going to be a pretty tough one to race. Well, pre combat Snowhorn Rider Morph is at least valuable information to gain. So, we take our five. We. Flip our dude. We Savage Punch his dude. We're in an okay spot, actually. So, guess we might as well get our white mana now. Just in case it gets out of my hand for some reason. Savage Punch here. Just a great opportunity for it. I guess we don't get to leave up Soul Tide Charm now by doing this, but that's okay. 
So get in for six. Pass. Could draw to discard off the Siltai Charm. I'm not thrilled about that, but it's an option. Summit Prowler is not that big of a threat, so I can at least can cope with that. Um, ooh, yeah, I guess we, I guess the right play is to I was going to say Charm more thousand wins, but may in fact better just be just cast thousand wins. But then I'm just playing around Winter Flame. I think we're going to no. I think we're going to stick with our plan of. I'm not going to play around Winter Flame. I'd rather play around. I don't know. I just feel like I don't want to. I'd rather just get some damage in, pressure him, and morph out my thousand wins. I mean, Winter Flame does kill it here, but he's got to do it. Basically, he has to do it during his turn as well. I think he's more motivated to kill the Witness of the Ages at the moment. So like I said, he can Winter Flame. He's got to do it right now. All right, Vault Breaker is tolerable. I guess he could still have Winter Flame. He could have Winter Flame now. It'd be tap plus kill plus get in for four. That would be harsh. Oh, he just hard cast it. All right. Well, in that case, oh, geez. Guess he can winter. F he can crippling chill in response. If I incremental growth and he has crippling chill, it's less annoying than if he's got winter flame and kills my morph. I still think I I likely just. I think I go, I think we go for the growth here. I, I feel like he's more likely to be, feel like he's more likely to be holding up Crippling Chill. I could just play it ultra safe, pass. Yeah, I'm going to actually play this ultra safe. I'm just going to pass the turn. We're ahead on the clock. He can't attack into me. I don't want to play into tricks. I can unmorph this at will. Maybe he tries to use Winter Flame to try and kill it. I just unmorph anyway. I think this is the safest play. If my opponent wants to Crippling Chill, he can do it now. And maybe I can unmorph in response so I don't bounce my own guy. That actually makes sense. And then next turn, I can incremental growth. I just feel like I'm playing into both Winter Flame and Crippling Chill are annoying enough where I don't want to deal with them at the moment. I'd much rather just pay the thousand wins cost, get it out of the way. Long shot squad. All right, still leaving it up, but now I at least have the added benefit of being able to unmorph my guy. Can actually water whirl too, but I think I would prefer to do that once I've got this guy unmorphed. So 
so I can banner plus growth or I can water whirl probably just water whirl that way winter flame or crippling chills not that big of a deal although incremental growth is pretty good here too I just have to put one counter on the witness and he has to double block and lose both his guys. Let's go for the water world play. This way if he's got crippling whatever, he only hits one of my guys, I get in for some damage. Could be disdainful stroke, but even disdainful stroke's not a big deal. Because I feel like that would have countered incremental growth anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, we're still in good shape then. So we get in with 1,000 wins. He can bust Windstorm to kill 1,000 wins, but he has to leave all his mana up. And at least we have him on a bit of a clock now with the Parapet. Although... I admit, all the tap lands do make that a bit more difficult. Man drills, not that big of a deal. Two cards left in hand. Let's go backwater for life. Guess I should probably do the growth now. So go one, two, three. Wait, I can do banner plus growth, can't I? Yeah. So we'll go one, two, three. This way my parapet can still block Sagu Mahler. As can my witness of the ages. Plus thousand wins is at least lethal now, so it forces him to winter flame or crippling chill. All right, so he does crippling chill there, which means I can swing with my witness, but he can double block and he will double block and he'll probably give up enough stuff that I don't care about so let's just pass I feel like we just need to either win with thousand wins or win with archer's parapet but my opponent doesn't have a great attack here even if he has the teamer battle rage which is a possibility I still don't die Definitely going to crack the banner. Haven't been able to do the parapet the last couple turns, but I've been using massive amounts of mana. Yeah, okay, well... Still pretty good shape here. Let's crack banner. Mm. 
Yeah, don't need those. All right, COVID is. Could I don't want to attack still, so we'll pass. I think because my witness can block uh, Sagu Mauler, it's like the main reason to chill out on that. Has he got the windstorm? Seems like it. Yep. So it's a problem for sure, but we're still okay. Still have good threats to draw, and we're still at least have our opponent on the clock now. So that's good. Krushak's actually a good draw. So we'll play that and pass. Anything that's not a land at this point, I think, is going to be a good draw because we're progressing the board. We have better blockers than he does, and we have a creature that's ticking him down. So he's at least got a clock. Sagu Mauler, his biggest threat that we know of, is not that big of a threat anymore. If his best play is Smoke Teller, we're at least just back to square one in terms of where we're at. Wouldn't mind Sibzig Muckdraggers, wouldn't mind Ojitai. Both of those would be pretty satisfactory. Just really hoping my opponent doesn't have Icy Blast, I guess, but can't really do much about that. Even Barrage of Boulders. Yeah, there's some pretty nasty stuff my opponent could have, but still don't really feel ultra comfortable attacking here. Jeez, really didn't want to land there. Well, actually, let me think. So I crack in now, and my opponent... If my opponent's got Barrage, he gets in for 5, 9, 13, 15. Jeez. Maybe I just swing Crew Shock and trade with the Vault Breaker. I don't love that. Maybe I just swing Witness and let him... Double block. Feel safer. Basically, I don't want to get blown out by Barrage. I could swing both, I guess. And he doesn't have a great block for that. Yeah, that might be right. If I swing both, he has to double block Witness and maybe chump. Let's, let's attack with both here. This is a bit dangerous, but there's just a lot of things my opponent could have that worry me that he could draw and him like double blocking here he loses them both and then he has to chump yeah I think this was right I think because like I think it was worth it because like I said he has a deck that's well geared to play Barrage of Boulders. We still have him on a clock. I mean, his long shot squad's going to get bigger, I guess, but he can't even outlast unless he plays another dude. I still can block the... All right, well, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Definitely want an Ojitai off the top, but I'll settle for non-land cards. I mean, the problem is Teamer Battle Rage is still going to be a big deal. Oh, no. All right, well, now we're in really bad shape, unfortunately. I'm really surprised my opponent drew back into this, but just Secret could not, could not have come at a worse time. Just an awful, awful time for Rockshaw's a Secret. Please don't lose Ojitai. Please don't lose Ojitai. Please, 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 please don't lose Ojitai. All right. Two lands. Now that's a good thing to lose. I could have. I, I, uh, I guess I could have secreted him there for one. 
Maybe that would have been better. Oh, that was, that's a phenomenal draw. So we'll secret now. That was a good draw. All right. Still okay. It's his last card. Mountain. Got it. Get rid of that stupid card. Give me Ojitai deck. Demanding it of you now. Give me Ojitai. No. Alright, Embodiment I'll accept. Embodiment's okay. It's like a land. I'll accept that. Alright, Archer's a good draw. There we go. Archer is an on-land card. I love that. Non-land cards at this point. I accept non-land cards. I mean, I did demand the uh, Ojitai, but considering we milled Stalker and Abomination off of our... That's, yeah, not ideal. But uh, I guess our Skullkeeper hit double land, so we were lucky in that regard. So he's got to deal with Surveyor he loses. Really hope he didn't draw a Dragon Scale Boon. My God. That was a crazy draft, folks. Every single match was very close. Right? No, actually, the first one we did, we just sort of steamrolled. That was just really good. But, man. Wow. Matches two and three, super intense. Ended up taking down the 8-4, which is very satisfying because that was just so taxing on my psyche the entire time. It's just very... Very difficult draft, but we did well, and uh, our next draft will be an 8-4, so hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you for the next one.